Hello everybody, this is Jim Hiles coming to you live from First Capital Studios for GoPlan as well. So, hey, we're gonna talk about a timely thing, something that just happened. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. You're now uh, proud owners of the SECURE Act. The SECURE Act, love the gov, right? Here we go, setting every community up for a retirement enhancement. If you spell that out, it spells SECURE. Anyway, on Friday the 20th of December, this was signed into law. And there's going to be some changes in the retirement planning landscape. So let me cover some highlights. There's going to be more on this later, but just some highlights to get you aware. The age for required minimum distributions. It used to be 70 and a half, is now age 72. So we got a little bit of a, of a, a relief, I guess you could call it there, for deferral of forced retirement plan distributions. Um, also, a little gimme here is you're now able to make a contribution to an IRA post uh, age 70 and a half. But caveat is, uh, while there are no um, age restrictions at all for that, you have to make money, income, to have a taxable deferral into an IRA. So here's the big one, and this is going to affect how we view the landscape when it comes to planning for retirement income. Getting there is one thing, now getting income, income out is another because they just reduce the stretch IRA concept. It used to be you could take an IRA and stretch it out over the life expectancy of the beneficiaries. That was a long period of time to defer income potentially and just take the small required distributions out. Now they limited that to just 10 years. You have to take the entire plan out in 10 years. Now there are some exceptions. Spouses are uh, accepted here. Uh, inheritors less than 10 years apart so that's pretty close in age, are also uh, accepted. Disabilities, this is gonna be an interesting one. Inheritors with disabilities, we're not sure what that means yet. Uh, this could be interesting as a, if you look at um, elder care and long-term care, uh, and minor children are also excluded, but for most part, everybody else is gonna have to rethink what that stretch IRA looks like, and maybe even think about taking things out of taxable money accounts versus tax deferred ones, or how are you gonna take that out over time? Uh, they also touched on 529 plans where you can actually now pay for apprentice programs. And you can also use your 529 to help prepay, or, or I should say pay, repay uh, student loans. Uh, they also opened up the marketplace to allow for smaller employers and part-time employees to be part of 401k plans. You can actually now pool together with other, other employers, other small employers, and have a joint plan with the benefits of being part of a big plan. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty interesting way to approach uh, the uh, business marketplace in terms of how to best maximize retirement savings. So this is kind of one of those mixed bags. We don't know all of it yet in terms of what it means to you or to us as advisors and clients, but we'll uh, certainly keep our eye uh, on this and uh, we'll make the changes as we see fit within the financial plans and certainly want to talk to you about what the best move will be to make with the SECURE Act. So we'll talk to you soon. This is Jim Hiles signing off.